Hey guys, welcome back to another protein snack review. Uh, again, we got another muscle milk for this week. This is the third. Um, we are running out slowly of protein snacks to review. So if you could do us a massive favor and maybe comment below snacks that you've liked to eat, even if they're um, snacks that you have to make, like in the kitchen or something like a bread mix or something like that, um, then definitely comment below. So this one is uh, the muscle milk. Uh, what have we got? Flavor is double choc brownie. Double fudge brownie, sorry. So, should be, I'm thinking real dense, uh, real chewy. Let's give it a stat review here, is uh, 218 calories. Again, pretty good. I like anything around 200 for a snack. Uh, you got 20.3 grams of protein, great. Uh, 6.5 grams of fat, slightly on the higher side, but that'll be because it's, you know, double choc, uh, double fudge brownie. They need to get that chewiness in there. Uh, you got uh, what is it? 2.6 grams of carbohydrates, extremely low. And again, fiber for this is six with 5.4 of that being soluble. So again, you're looking at almost nine grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, 6.5 grams of fat. It's good. All these muscle and milk bars, I definitely highly recommend the stat ranges on them uh, for a normal dieting sort of person, especially if you're trying to get a lot of protein in a snack like this. They all seem to have great stat ranges on them, and they all so far have tasted really good. And we did salted caramel and lemon slice, I believe, so far. Okay, so yeah, they're keeping it consistent, all their bars. Obviously, these are all from the same range, but all look exactly the same. I'm expecting the texture to be just a solid sort of block of gooiness again. Really dark chocolatey smell coming through this, this one, like that you get that sort of bitterness there. I don't really love dark chocolate. I'm a milk guy myself, milk or white, uh, nice and sweet. So, let's see this go. Hmm. Yeah, flavors on point again this time. I'm getting a lot of that sort of dark chocolatey bitterness, almost like um, a smoky sort of burnt flavor almost, almost um, that you sort of get with dark chocolate. Roasted, that's it. Okay, they do have small um, texture change in this one. It's got some crunchy stuff in it, which is nice. Like little sort of crunchy gems. Hmm. They're very chocolatey, very nice actually. Definitely gooey, sticky, like you'd expect a fudge to be. Um, just trying to think right now, would there, can I tell the difference if I was eating like a actual piece of fudge or this bar? And there probably is like the subtlest of that sort of sweetness coming through, like too much of it in the back of the throat. But overall, yeah, flavors on point again. You love chocolate and you love brownie, sort of fudge, mush them together. You get something like this. Very smooth bar again. Texture is really smooth and gooey. Um, the whole bar is like a gooey, mushy sort of gum sort of texture. They have a little bit of like those crystals in there again. I don't really know what for. Don't know. They're nice, but they're fine. Stats again, outstanding on this bar, like all of the muscle milk range so far. Um, gonna have to give this, I like it slightly less, just personal preference. I actually don't like dark chocolate that much. It's got a lot of dark chocolate characteristics about it. So for that reason, I'm probably only gonna give it a 7.9, but if you're a dark chocolate lover, you'd probably, You'd rate this a bit higher, maybe 8.3 or something like that, 8.4. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Again, um, if you do like the videos, please like the videos, share them, all that kind of stuff. But um, more importantly, if you can comment below any bars that you've tried before or any protein snacks in general, even if they're mixes that we have to make or anything like that, we'd love to try them uh, and it'd be really helpful for us. Thanks again, guys. And again, we'll be back tomorrow.